As the old saying goes, all great things must come to an end. Floyd Mayweather posted his picture on Instagram. It is an image of him and Richard Schaefer. For those of y'all old enough to remember, Richard Schaefer is actually the man who made up Golden Boy Promotions. Y'all may be thinking it's Oscar de la Hoya. Richard Schaefer is responsible for Golden Boy Promotions. Oscar de la Hoya owes Richard Schaefer his life if you want to be technical. Well, Floyd Mayweather announced that Leonard Ellerby is stepping down as the CEO of Mayweather Promotions. Like I said before. Floyd Mayweather posted this on Instagram. I'm going to paraphrase here, but it says, After years of hard work and dedication, Leonard Ellerby has made the decision to step down as CEO to spend more time with his family and loved ones. We are grateful for his leadership to help Mayweather Promotions into the thriving organization it is today. Who made the most money? What Floyd Mayweather is trying to say by posting this picture is that Leonard Ellaby is fired. <laughs> Could it be that Floyd Mayweather is jealous of Javante Davis' relationship with Leonard Ellaby? Is Floyd Mayweather low-key mad about Leonard Ellaby's relationship with Javante Tank Davis? I really couldn't tell y'all. The point is... Is that Leonard Ellerby is no longer part of Mayweather promotion. I don't glorify that. A lot of Floyd Mayweather's former fighters, a lot of people in the boxing world have been talking the same thing about Floyd Mayweather. They call Floyd Mayweather selfish. They call the man greedy. Let me tell y'all something. Javante Davis said it best in a recent interview. Javante Davis said, If I was Floyd Mayweather, I would probably be the same way. In order to be as successful as Floyd Mayweather, you gotta be low-key greedy. You gotta be low-key selfish. You gotta look out for yours and stop trying to look out for everybody else. I think y'all should be taking notes from Floyd Mayweather. Who made the most money? On top of that, I don't think that Leonard Ellerby is broke. I think that we will continue to see Leonard Ellerby with PBC and Al Heyman. He just will not be part of Mayweather Promotions. I don't glorify that. Switching topics, we all know the most feared champion at 140 pounds is Subriel Matias. Everybody want to think that Subriel Matias is some type of pushover in a 140 pound division. Let me tell y'all something. I don't see nobody looking to fight Matias. Subriel Matias had a message for Regis Progre for some reason today. Matias called Regis Progre a chicken who is scared to fight with him. As y'all can see, Matias got his hair dyed blind. So Regis Progre said, keep on talking, Cisco. Reporting. How do y'all feel about this? Do y'all think that Matias should be looking to fight a 35-year-old Regis Progre? I don't like this move from Matias. I think Subrio Matias should take on the weakest link at 140 pounds. That would be Devin Haney, the weakest champion in boxing today. The man that got no type of chin, no type of power, and especially no type of fan base. And I definitely believe in Jesus. And Turkey Ala Shiki is doing whatever he could to prove that he is not a culture vulture in the sport of boxing. It's only one problem. I can see right through the man as the biggest culture vulture in the sport of boxing. The man tweeted out, we welcome the WBC champion Terence Crawford as an ambassador for Riyadh season to help promote global events. Big things happening in the coming year and I'm sure Terence Crawford will enjoy his time in the season's activity. Stop the damn cat. Ayo hey, Turkey Alashiki. How much did you pay Terence Crawford for this promotion? What's up everybody? It's your boy Terence Crawford. It's a privilege and an honor to be ambassador of Riyadh season. I'm looking forward to all the big events and the success that Riyadh season is going to bring to the boxing world. If that ain't the most scripted promotion, I'm telling y'all, on top of that, he got Jared, the real big baby Anderson, the softest heavyweight in boxing today. Check this out. It's a great honor and privilege. I am truly humbled, blessed, and looking forward to attending all the Riyadh season's events and becoming a part of its amazing success. If that wasn't the most scripted speech I ever seen, hey, yo, Jared Anderson, bro. Y'all already know what I say about grown men who hide their face, especially when wearing sunglasses. When a grown man does not want to show his face, he is hiding something from the public. If you a grown man and you hide your face, you are hiding insecurity in my opinion. 
You don't want people to see the coward in your eyes This is my opinion, not just Turkey Alashiki is slowly but surely Destroying the sport of boxing in my opinion And I definitely believe in Jesus Like Gervonta Tank Davis, the face of boxing already said The only reason that these fighters are going over to Saudi Arabia Is because they can't sell in the United States Where boxing counts Tank over, tank over, tank over everybody